Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Pisces. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of February 15th through the 21st, okay? I'm going to do this one a little bit differently. I'm going to do you and the other person, and we're just going to see what comes up. Now, keep in mind that not every reading is for you. This reading may not be for you, so let's just see what happens. So what do we have for Pisces? For the week of February 15th through the 21st, what do we have for Pisces? What do we have for Pisces? Queen of Cups and the Three of Pentacles reversed. So the Queen of Cups may be your energy. Uh, this is looking for love, um, emotionally available in your feelings, maybe expressing feelings. You may be having a, a flood of emotion this week. There's a lack of togetherness here. There's a lack of teamwork, unfortunately, with the Three of Pentacles reversed. Um, there may be a lack of respect you could, there's a, or somebody may be not respecting you. It looks like you have a really big heart. And you're going to be in your feelings um, over a lack of uh, communication or a lack of, uh, of working together with somebody. It's just something may not be working out and you may be really feeling emotional over it. Um, I mean, the Three of Pentacles reversed is a lack of teamwork. So let's see who you're dealing with. Now, this is somebody that is predominantly in your energy. It may not be who you think it is. Okay, but this is somebody that is, is strongly in your energy and they are affecting you in some way. Um, so what do we have for the other person in Pisces life that is affecting them? Four of Pentacles. So this is somebody that is really focused on stability. They're focused on money. Um, they may be holding on for money holding on to something could be dealing with a Capricorn doesn't have to be um, this is somebody that may be toxic they may be unhealthy um, the devil reversed is breaking free uh, this is like all it's not cracked up to be somebody may be very superficial they're, they are um, maybe they're wanting to break free but they're still holding on for the money you know, there's, this is an unhealthy behavior. It could be extremely unhealthy, extremely materialistic. You may be dealing with somebody that is also extremely stubborn. Uh, greedy. It feels like you've got somebody that is very, very greedy and they're, they're, they're looking for financial stability. So whoever you're dealing with, or they're looking for something, or they're holding on. Somebody is holding on maybe to you for what you can give them. This is somebody that is in their ego. Um, but this is a card of breaking free. You know, you need to take, this person is controlling in some way. I feel like you need to break free from this person. But they're wanting to hold on to you. I feel like somebody wants to hold on to you. Um, let's get some of this. One of these for each of you. One of these for Pisces, please. Well, I guess we're going to get three. What about the other person? Oh, three over here as well. Okay, so what do we have for Pisces? I feel like you're definitely in your emotions. Um... Teardrops, great personal sorrow. So there is some sort of sorrow this week that you're going to be feeling. And I can, I can definitely see that. You may not be receiving communication from somebody. Egg, success assured with good plans and hard work. May, could be dealing with somebody that is born in the month of May. May is very prominent here. Something may be happening in May. You notice the blossoms. Things could change by May. But you're going to have to uh, work on something. It be, you notice the egg. 
this is a birth, okay? In there, there's a new life. So you, you have an opportunity for a new life, but you're going to have to work for it. So right now, you may be feeling emotional, but there's no communication. There's no collaboration. There's no teamwork. If your heart is telling you to do something, then you're going to have to put in effort to do it. Don't just, don't just sit there and wait for it to happen. If you need to break free from somebody that is toxic and unhealthy, it's not going to be easy. So I feel like that's what's happening this week. I think it's it's the beginning. You know, it looks like it, it's it's time. It's time. Um, and I feel there's a lot of sadness. There's sadness over, you know, having to do something. Let's get the other person. Barrel. You feel something is lacking in your life, perhaps lack, love, money, or goals. Now, this is for the other person. Whoever you're dealing with that is very predominantly in your energy is, is feeling like something is lacking. And I feel like they're thinking about breaking free. They're not happy. Ring, a marriage will take place, either romantic or business. Funnel, period of frustration, lessons to be learned. Whoever you're dealing with, maybe they want a ring. They may want a ring. Um, they may want marriage, um, and they feel like something is lacking in their life and they have a lesson to learn. So there is somebody over here that has some sort of lesson to learn and they are frustrated. They are absolutely frustrated. This person over here, um, they want stability. Whoever you're dealing with really wants stability. Um, they want to hold on, they want to hold on, or they may be holding on to you for your financial stability. Anyhow, um, what do we have for Pisces? Now this is moving. Somebody may be thinking about moving. This is packing up, leaving home. It's a time of transition, a time of transformation, dealing with opposition, mastering emotions. I do believe that you're going to be needing to master your emotions this morning and this morning, <laughs> Right now, okay, you're going to need to master your emotions. You're going to need to get in the driver's seat. You're going to need to take charge. Find your discipline. If there's some place that you want to go, I feel like your heart is driving you. This is your heart. This is driving. I feel like your heart is driving you in a new direction. And I feel like you are going to be going in a new direction, but it's not going to be easy. Um... Five of Wands reversed is the end of a battle, the end of a competition. It's letting go of something. Letting, maybe you're in a third party situation. You need to let somebody go. I feel like your heart is really speaking to you. I feel like you're really going to be intuitive this week. You may be receiving intuitive messages that are telling you to go. It's like you need to go somewhere. The chariot is movement. It's like getting in your vehicle and going somewhere. So I don't know where it, where it is that you're going, but I feel, feel like you're traveling or you're going to be traveling. Um, but there's, there's some sort of, I feel like there's sadness or there is great personal sorrow. There's sadness over, you know, no communication or no uh, teamwork or sadness over a battle or sadness over a fight or something like that. But a battle is coming to an end. It is coming to an end. And I feel like you are going to be successful in whatever it is that you're doing. Because the chariot is somebody that finds their strength and their discipline and their willpower to take the reins. So I feel like you are going to be taking charge of a situation. And I feel like, I mean, the five of wands reversed is the end of a competition. And I do feel like there has been a competition with that three of pentacles. But I feel like you're going to be definitely moving, moving in a new direction. Ah, there's an unclear and difficult path ahead and I feel like there's fear of the unknown and you're going to have to face your fears and I feel like you will be facing your fears. I do. I feel like you'll be facing your fears this week. I feel like there's unseen forces here that are definitely driving you and I feel like there's something that has been below the surface that has been um, bugging you. It's been, but maybe you've been ignoring it or something, ignoring your intuition, ignoring your heart, ignoring your gut, you know, trying to hide your feelings. Definitely going to be a week of being in your feelings. Absolutely. Um, 
And I feel like there's a there's an unclear, you know, there's an unclear path ahead and that fear, the fear of I don't know, maybe it's rejection is, is holding you back. Anyway, I but I do feel like this week you're going to be feeling extremely emotional over some sort of movement. There is movement here with the chariot. But this is actually a good thing because it, it's a battle that is coming to an end. I don't know if you're dealing with somebody that put you in a third party situation. I think I already said that. Um, but whatever is happening for you, Pisces, you got happiness that is here. This is extreme happiness. This is a spiritual blessing. This is happily ever after. So where, wherever you're headed is, is towards happily ever after. You know, you are, you are, this is a happy family. It's a, it's a happy home. It's togetherness. And I feel like you've been lacking that you've been lacking togetherness. You've been lacking, you know, that, that, that comfort, that relationship that brings you the happiness that you have been, uh, not receiving, you know, this three of pentacles reverse is, I think you're dealing with somebody who really hasn't been putting in much work. You know, or something's not working out. Anyway, you're moving towards happiness. All right. Um, you need to let go of your fears. You need to listen to your intuition. Your intuition and your gut is, is definitely speaking to you this week. Definitely. So let's talk about the other person. You're dealing with somebody that is very greedy by the looks of things. Extremely greedy. Um superficial oh my god egotistical you got somebody here that is very very egotistical they are they they want to have it all this is somebody that wants to have it all they they want to be in control um they have some sort of power over you this person is extremely stubborn and they're i feel like you you materialistic somebody that is extremely materialistic they probably um it feels like they just want you to provide for them. Interesting. Nine of Cups reverse. Not happy at all. This person's not happy. They're not happy. They have a lesson to learn. Somebody, and maybe you're teaching them a lesson. A marriage will take place either romantic or business some of this person is looking for something they are looking for something and it's financial stability for sure love money or goals they're lacking they're lacking so you're dealing with somebody that is looking for money they are looking for money because they lack. They don't, I don't feel like whoever you're dealing with has the means, has the means to take care of themselves. Interesting. Definitely not happy. Whoever you are dealing with is in a dark, they're in a dark energy. This is darkness. This is darkness. They are in a dark energy. They're not happy. There's no growth. Um, they go overboard. They go to extremes. Uh, very, very uh, shallow as well. And it's a shallow in a different way. This person is only in the partnership for money or for stability by the looks of things. Um, the sun card reversed. Very, un this is like a broken relationship. This is illusion. This is uh, false impressions. We got somebody here that is not who they appear to be, you know, or they, do, they, maybe you figured that out. Six of cups reverse clinging to the past. Whoever you're dealing with is clinging to the past. They may be, uh, not, they're not happy. They aren't healed over the past. Whoever you're dealing with is not healed over the past. Maybe something to do with their childhood or a past love. They haven't completely broken free from somebody of their past. They're still holding on to the past. Whoever you're dealing with is holding on to the past. Ooh. Now this is for their side. So, <laughs> okay. So we have the tower reverse, the four of swords, and the five of swords. So... 
This is a permanent loss of some sort. This is a false impression. You are dealing with somebody who, I don't know, if they're going back to the past, you know, they keep, or they're sleeping with somebody from their past. There is, there is somebody here from the past with the person that you are dealing with. This person is pretending they're pretending. They're pretending something. The tower is false and the sun card in reverse is false. So somebody is pretending that, and they don't care if they hurt you. And, it, and it's because they feel alone. This person is still hurting over the past. I feel like they have gotten you involved because they wanted something to hold on to. They wanted something to have, but they're not happy. They're not happy at all because they're, they're still holding on to the past. So whoever you're dealing with is is really uh, not healed over the past. And I feel like they haven't completely broken free. They just want to have it all. They want to have it all and they want somebody to hold on to. So I think that you are dealing with somebody that um, doesn't care who they hurt as long as they have somebody to hold on to. Um, there's going to be an event though. It's going to be an event. There's probably going to be a huge, huge, huge fight. This is a fight. This is a fight where somebody says, you know what? I'm exhausted. I'm fed up. This hurts. I'm not going to do this anymore. Somebody could get thrown out. Um, this is definitely a conflict. We have somebody here that um, is extremely egotistical. All they want to do is have it all. It's like, I don't, I don't care who I hurt as long as I get what I want. So you're definitely dealing with somebody that is extremely selfish by the looks of things. I think they are. And I feel like they've built up a foundation with you on false pretenses because they've been hurt so badly and they didn't want to be alone. This person didn't want to be alone, whoever you're dealing with. Um, so they're, they're holding on to you and I feel like they want to break free, but they're waiting for this person from the past. They're waiting for this person from the, from the past to, um, come back for them or something like that. Um, period of frustration, lesson to be learned. There is a lesson to be learned here. Maybe this person is, has taught you a lesson about love or you've taught them a lesson about love. We definitely have a hostile situation here with the Five of Swords. That is a hostile situation. And there's a need to take a break. We, and this person is getting exhausted and fed up with pretending. They, it's like they're really having a hard time pretending because there's no love in these cards. And you may have feelings for them, but I don't think they have feelings for you. I don't feel it. I mean, where's the love? I don't, I don't see the love. It, there's, there's holding on for stability holding on for financial stability, you know, but it's all fake. You think about the devil and the tower and the five of swords and the sun card. This is, this is, it's not about love. This is about having a foundation that's not even stable anyway, but holding on for this doubt foundation, you know, for the looks of it. And this is false impression. So we got somebody here that's holding on to something that is uh, not stable, that it's not built on a strong foundation because they're still holding on to the past. So anyway, I do believe that, uh, you know, the, the Four of Swords is the death of a situation. It is the death of a situation. It's, a, it's painful. I do believe that there is an ending that is coming. There's probably going to be a fight that ends in a permanent loss. I feel like it's much needed, but I feel like there's ego in the way of letting go. You know, we have somebody here that I feel like doesn't want to be alone. They just don't want to be alone. They want to prove they want to prove something. They want, to, and it's maybe it's maybe to somebody in their past. They want to prove that they can, you know, hold on to somebody. They want to prove that they're stable. They want to prove that, you know, to the outside world that they that they can have this foundation, you know. And they prove they want to prove to somebody in their past that, you know, they're stable, but they're not. So whoever you're dealing with doesn't care if they hurt you as long as they prove to somebody else or pretend. There's a lot of pre pretending here. There is. This is both pretending, this is pretending, and this is pretending. Somebody is trying to pretend that they're in a stable situation to somebody in their past. So that's who you're dealing with. Um, whoever you're dealing with is definitely hiding something from you. Um, they are, and they're doing it quite well with the devil reverse. There's something that you don't see. There is definitely something that you don't see. 
Um, this person is not happy at all. They're not happy. They're not happy. And they're doing something behind your back. Somebody is doing something behind your back and you may not be aware of it. Or maybe you are. Maybe you're in denial. Maybe you're in some sort of fantasy or illusion or something. We go back over to here. Anyhow, I do believe that this week, and that's where the third party situation comes out. I feel like this week you're going to be feeling something. You may be seeing something. Your intuition may be telling you something. There's probably going to be a fight with the Five of Wands reversed and the Five of Swords. Five of Wands on your side, five on their side. That's a conflict that forces change. I do believe there's going to be a force change that whoever you're dealing with probably uh, doesn't see coming. I feel like they don't see it coming because I feel like they've been pretending so well. They've been really, really pretending so well. Um, this person that you're dealing with um, is not very balanced, okay? They're, they're definitely... Um, unstable definitely unstable um there's going to be an uproar of some sort somebody's going to end up walking away if not this week very 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 soon but for you for you, I see you moving in a new direction towards victory, towards success, oh, ending a battle. This has been a constant battle. It's been a tug of war, right? You are headed towards happiness. You are headed towards emotional fulfillment, even though there's an unclear and difficult path ahead. It's not going to be easy. By May, you will be in a very happy place. And that is what I got. Good luck.